Hi, it's Andrea Dancing Star, and we're reading cards today, um, having a nice leisurely day, and um, we're going to read cards for the astrological sign of Aries. It's going to be fun. Um, if you are new here, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to you. And I post pretty regularly. So, you know, if you're a fan of tarot readings, of divination, and of, I often go live too. So, um, and in the lives, I mean, if people ask me questions, I'll totally pull cards in the live. You know, and that's still another free service. So, you know, I feel like it's kind of, there's some perks. There's some perks to clicking like and subscribe to my channel. But today, we're going to read for the astrological sign of Aries. We're going to see what's going on in Aries' world. Hopefully it's all just really, you know, sunshine and rainbows and unicorns, you know, hopefully that's what it is. What's going on for the astrological sign of Aries? What is going on for the astrological sign of Aries? What's going on today for the astrological sign of Aries? What's going on for the astrological sign of Aries? What's going on for the astrological sign of Aries? Four of Cups sideways with the King of Cups. Ten of Cups is behind him. Um, more. Tell me more. The Empress reversed and the Star. Okay, so um, I'm feeling like... It's kind of just giving stagnancy. Like there's a situation, like a, a home that's been built and worked on for a long time, like with another person, like a husband and a wife, a family type situation. And also um, there's kind of like stagnancy energy with that. Like don't really know if it's good or it's bad. It really looks like the Empress is gone. It looks like the Divine Feminine is gone. It looks like there's no fertility there. It looks like there's no earthly love there. It looks like there's no earthly abundance there. There's no beautiful feminine energy there. Um, it looks like maybe possibly this is an Aquarius. Maybe she likes to make a lot of drinks. Maybe a lot at the nighttime. Tell me about the Empress reverse for Aries. The sun reversed and justice. Yeah, I mean, not happy. Definitely not happy. Not happy. It's um, kind of like maybe you might have had an environment where at some point in time, people like the people involved in the environment, maybe in like the homestead where people, the two people in the marriage, the husband and the wife. Maybe they had a lot of blessings and they didn't recognize the blessings that they had like while they had them and now they don't have them and now they don't even have the house and the opportunities to ignore them, you know, because they're just not even remotely there. Um, it's very cloudy. It's very gloomy. It's sad. Um, and that's justice. Uh, someone's completely stopped speaking to someone else and that's, that's justice, you know, maybe like somebody has legally told someone, do not speak to me anymore. Why is this justice for Aries? Why is it justice for Aries? Why is it justice for Aries? That's a mess. The double reversed Capricorn energy. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles reversed, the Tower, the Ace of Cups reversed. I mean, this is just really gross. Yeah, this is 
I mean, it, it was, it was, it was at one point in time, a happy home. It was at one point in time, a happy marriage. It was at one point in time, a family. Um, there was like a garden, there was a fence, there was people watching the kids play and the grandkids play off in the distance. There was love and there's not now. There's definitely not now. There's also no money. There's, you can't take care of yourself. I don't know if the other person can take care of themselves either. There's, there's nothing. Um, there was also the devil reverse, which is Capricorn energy, but it's kind of like someone turning their back on a Capricorn or someone completely stopping with the drinking or maybe even both. <sighs> okay, so where does Aries go now? Temperance reversed, Sagittarius energy. It's kind of like there's a reunion with a Sagittarius, like a Sagittarius that's out of the picture, like that's been taken out of the picture. Also, this Sagittarius is kind of like really manipulative, you know, like they may have some pretty bad qualities to them. Like maybe they drink a lot. Maybe. I'm going to ask that question one more time. Where does Aries go now? Where does Aries go now? Where does Aries go now? Um, <laughs> okay, temperance reversed again. You know, maybe, maybe it's not a Sagittarius that's out of the picture or that drinks a lot. Maybe it's just like Sagittarius. I mean, Aries, maybe you just need to go to the bar. Um, because it really looks like Aries, maybe at one point in time, you were the king of pentacles, but it definitely looks like you're not the king of pentacles anymore. Like you don't have your business anymore. You don't have your money anymore. Oh, that's an attached hair. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't have your money anymore. There's no really secure abundance. You're not the boss <sighs> and everybody's seeing it. Everybody's seeing it. It kind of gives me like your friends want to take you to the bar so that, you know, you can drown your sorrows. Like it was a good fight, but you lost. Ten of swords sideways, seven of pentacles. You kind of feel like you want to keep trying. Um, you know, it's, it was the 10 of cups, so I can see where you'd want to keep trying, but I can tell you right now there's no love there. So there's that. I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't know how anything is really going to grow in this garden if there's no love in it and there's not. So, but you're holding on to hope. Okay. Anything else for Aries? Anything else for Aries? Anything else? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Um, again, Knight of Swords. So fast communicating messages. You know, it's definitely like a Virgo is going to come and communicate with you. Like run in, ride in on a horse and communicate with you. There's going to be some kind of money that's going to come in. It's not going to come in right away, but it's definitely going to come in, you know, Maybe by the fall, you know, it's maybe going to be rough for this, you know, spring, rest of springtime and summertime, but maybe by the fall, something is going to come in some kind of abundance, but right now, not great. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, this has been a reading for the astrological sign of Aries and good luck. <laughs>